freedom! <sighs> yeah, let's just go home, man. Come on. Some of God's most beautiful creation, but possibly one of the scariest places known to mankind. In the home of that one famous superhero, I can't really remember his name. Uh, caves are undeniably mysterious. Like, have y'all ever seen those crazy cave explorers get stuck in those super tiny cave holes? For some odd reason, caves bring a lot of curiosity. And we're gonna be spending the entire night in this very cave. Hell oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Woo! And y'all know those scary little caves I was talking about earlier? There's actually one in this cave. And we're gonna explore it. Yes, there's actually one of those claustrophobia inducing tiny hole caves, and we're gonna explore it. That'll be later in the video though, so stay tuned. Ow. <laughs> First orders, set up camp. Me and Bryce are gonna have the best setup, just wait, just wait. So to begin this crazy 24 hour overnight no electricity challenge, we set up our tents for the night. I mean, just look how enthusiastic she is. I'm doing an open air concept. Got my backpack, some lighter fluid, got my little bench, wallet and keys so I don't lose them. What do you need a bench for? So I don't lose my stuff, man. This is my area. See, bro, we got that? a nice view. Look, sky view. Hey. Oh my, you just want to sleep naked? <laughs> yeah. Got the foam so my back don't hurt. Then a little sleep pack. Is it hot? Then a mug in here. Got my cozy little blanket right bro, here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep at this angle. No, <laughs> I'm like bro. sliding down. <laughs> hey, shoes off. Oh my fault. My fault. My fault. Guitar, water bottle. Boom. We chilling. It took us literally like an hour and a half to get down here, so it's 10:22 right now. Apparently, there's a bat in here. There he is. And yes, we had a real life bat as company for our stay tonight. How wonderful! I think we've concluded that the name for him is Benji. Benji. We're gonna have a fun time together, <laughs> and even better for Will, we found more than just bats in the cave. Okay. Oh my goodness! I might the one It's right there. Oh! oh. <laughs> yup, there's a mouse. Well, what's his name? We have to give him a name now. Uh, Goonthread. Goonthread. Do you think Goonthread's a good name for him? Yeah. Dude, well, I'm just letting you know, in between us is a big rock. I'm a little mouse. I'm really scared. But to get our minds off our new friends, we decided to start cooking. I mean, we were all pretty hungry by now, and... On the menu for tonight, we have fresh seared corn tortillas and rats beer. Can we bring ketchup? Ketchup? Yeah. <laughs> I think what Brave meant was ketchup, but let's just get started with dinner. Okay, I know y'all might be wondering how we got a fire in this cave, but we did design this so that the smoke would not uh, suffocate us when we're sleeping. We're yeah. sleeping all the way down there. Exits up here. So we're chilling, right? <laughs> and just so you know, if you see alcohol, Cameron and I will not be consuming any, and just the other guys. Here's the moment of truth. And as you can tell, we got a little bored waiting for dinner. Oh, <laughs> Yo! Oh, dang, that sounded loud. Yo! Now that's a real deal fire. <laughs> okay, make the sounds. I don't like this. I feel like I'm going to get... Grab. <laughs> I can just imagine a witch just grabs away. And then for some reason, we started freestyle rapping. I'm cooking sausages on the grill. My name's Will. I don't pop pills. Ooh. Uh, hold up. Let me run it back. Cameron's rocking all black. Kill a cam on the beat. I thought he's supposed to rock pink. Oh! <laughs> you guys are good, actually. You did. <laughs> okay. Well, now I'm back in it. They looking at me, man. They thought that I was finished. I walk around like a robot. They call me Tin Man. That if you, rhymes. I'm not done. <laughs> if you see my bands, I'm stacking up tins, man. Can you Let me explain bro. it. <laughs> Is this a freestyle still? <laughs> However, nothing. I mean, nothing could have prepared us for what happened there. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, 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 <laughs> dude. <laughs> That was a for real. That was Benji. Wait, no. we need to go check if that was him. No, we just saw Benji. You think that was Benji's dad? <laughs> it could have been Benji's dad. Yeah, I look bigger. Still here is his dad. Bro. <laughs> yeah, he's still there. <laughs> Unless he's like super quick anyway. <laughs> it's hard to hurt that. And since Benji was all good, I realized that I needed to give y'all a better explanation of the environment for tonight. I mean, most of y'all probably have not seen the inside of a cave. So while we wait for dinner, here's our house tour. So first off, we have a grand piano staircase that goes down all the way to the fireplace. Go flip! Yeah, I'll, yeah, let me get to that. Pan the camera with me this way, you'll see the fireplace with a $25,000 grill. We have two select servants that will cook for you every day. And then if you'll follow me down this way, that was just getting started. You can see the fireplace from the living room. Hey, hi guys. Hey, what's up? How the sausages is coming? They look good. You hear that? What? You hear that? So this is what you would call maybe the living room area. There might be a vampire back there, but. 
Let's go this way. And then from the living room, you'll come into the bedroom area, which you'll see Cameron and Bryce's tent. Of course, they're covering the entrance. Once you walk past, you'll see we have a little bit of an open area, a little bit of a water fountain if you'd like. And then Will's bedroom is, of course, up here. Um, there's definitely a mouse over here named Jerry, so I'm leaving there. Here's me and Brayden's tent. Sorry, Benji. You're not going to be entering our sleeping today, so... <laughs> that did not make sense. Like I said earlier, this is the Tunnel of Doom. And perfect timing, it was time to pray and eat and eat the first meal of the challenge. Hey God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food you provide for us. I pray you'll bless it to our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. Not too bad. With no seasoning at all, it's pretty good. I'd rate it a seven and a half out of 10. No, I'm gonna go six and a half. Eight out of 10. And why? Because the flavors were just so bursting in my mouth. Good. And after a very scrumptious meal, it was time for us to prepare for the scariest night of our lives. <laughs> oh! Alright, not that scary, but still a little bit scary. Good night, everybody. You know, we got some fun activities planned. Good night, everyone. This was maybe not the worst idea, but it's 1248. Good night, everybody. And we are going in that little tunnel. We are. Yeah. But little did I know, I'd be recovering from one of the worst sleeps of my life. Guys, I slept like crap last night. It's currently 9:29 in the morning right now, and it's still completely pitch black down here. Will's the only one up right now. See, hi, Will. Our noses are like so stopped up. I don't know why. Thanks so much dust down here. <coughs> Let's go wake up, Cam. Wakey, wakey. Ah! But first and foremost, we had to check if our little friend was still with us. Still there. I don't know if he can see us. And then later this video, Cal's gonna touch it. Uh, <laughs> so to start off our last day in the cave right, we decided to play Family Feud Cave Edition. And if you don't know how Family Feud works, basically the show host, Steve Harvey, say hey Steve. Hey, hi there. What's going on, Steve? Gives two teams a question, and whoever answers first gets a chance at the prize. Welcome to Family Feud with your host, Steve Harvey! And since we played for a while, I'm just gonna show you my personal favorite moments before we go into the Hole of Doom. Besides gum, name something people chew on but don't swallow. Food. <laughs> the what? Besides a teacher, name a job at a high school. Janitor. <gasps> Number one answer with 47 points, oh my lord. And Steve Harvey is known for asking contestants about their personal life. What do you do? I'm an engineer. So Will and Bryce decided to give it a shot. You got a wife, girlfriend, anything? <sighs> no. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry about that. You got a girlfriend? I mean, yeah. <laughs> no. Brady's getting in trouble. <laughs> At one kind of restaurant is a woman most likely to find a rich man. Oh, right. A steakhouse. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> if you were arrested and could only make one phone call, who would you call? My oh, mommy. <laughs> if your cell phone rings while you're at church, who would who better it be calling? My mommy. You killed that, bro. <laughs> hey, Cameron, uh, let me ask you, uh, what do you do for a living? Oh, well, Steve, I'm a rapper. r 3 ckless on all platforms. Y'all should listen to Double Dutch, because they'll be out by the time this video's out. Name a place where a man picks up a woman. The strip club. I was waiting for it. Come on, Steve. Survey, sir. Ding. Woo! We asked 100 men, name a part of a woman's daily routine you're thrilled you do not have to do. Makeup. Hey, no, that was great. He know. hit it before he no, you hit it before you were done. Makeup. Ding. <laughs> Number one answer. Bruh. Let me say the what answers. It? it was cooking. Yep. Cleaning. Yep. Bro. No, that's sexist. <laughs> what? Take all the money. And Thank you, uh, Steve. And we'll be back tomorrow. Every time there's a winner in Family Feud, they cue the famous music as so. <laughs> But listen here, don't think for a second, I forgot what I promised at the beginning of the video, that I would take on one of these claustrophobia-inducing caves. Yup, one of those. <laughs> you know how I said we were gonna go in this small little tunnel? Well, we're doing it, and Will's going with me. Yep. So is the rest of the guys. Now, Cameron's too scared, but I've always seen these videos online, so I wanna see how scary it really is. Switching to GoPro footage. All ready, let's get it. Ready, ready, 
I know. It's so scary because the light on the GoPro is blinding me and I can't see in front of me. I just saw a little bug fly. It's water dripping. Dude, look how wet this is. <laughs> There's no way they went that far. There's a metal pole down here. I have another shirt. Oh my goodness. It's literally dripping right here. Little fun fact of the day. If y'all didn't know, this this is how stalactites are formed. These little water droplets. Hey, you know, it wasn't so bad at first, but things started going downhill quick. And I mean quick. Oh, there's a bug! Oh, shoot, this is way scarier than I thought. Dude, look how far this is. I know, Eric went forever. Oh, there's a spider! There's a big spider! Turn around! Are you gonna go back in or no? No. Why? You wanna try it for yourself? <laughs> Dude, there was actually a, a spider I've never seen before. <laughs> yeah, I let my intrusive thoughts win with this one. Do not do that at home. <laughs> now, this is very important because I want you to know that with living even a little bit out of your comfort zone for a single day can make drastic change in your life. And if you can find a group of friends that want to do the same, it's only gonna be an upward spiral from there. Freedom! <sighs> that was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. Alright, so now we all just walk up. Uh, stop it or what?